Y'all, shrinkage is so real. Like, this hairstyle was totally different before this video was even being recorded. Like, come on, shrinkage. Why can't you love me? Why can't you show me some love? <laughs> what is this? What is this? <laughs> Y'all stay tuned for this video, okay? <laughs> Get this look, get this look, get this look. Not the hair, not the hair, but the look. You know what I mean? Okay, bye. <laughs> I hope this helps someone out there. If not, I hope you guys learned something from it. Um, if not, then <laughs> I hope it is something for you. You know what I mean? Anyways, but um, yeah, this is the final look. And yeah. <laughs> I miss you guys so much. I created this beautiful purple lilac looking color eyeshadow look for Valentine's Day for you guys. And I hope that you all like it. I always hope that you guys like it. But anyways, stay tuned so you can get these tips and tricks and blah, blah, blah. blah. Mm, honey, okay, bye-bye. So the first item that I will be using today is the Simple Micellar Water. And this is just basically to cleanse off my face from the rest of the residue that is left on my face. Oh, this feels so amazing. I like to use one cotton swab for one side of my face and then another one for the other side of my face. So for the next product that I will be going in on my face with is this serum by Claudel. Claudelli, Claudel. Anyways, you see it. <laughs> but yeah. How are you guys winter going? Mine is it's been wow. 2021, I thought things would be a lot different, which from 2020, which they are, but girls, boys. I don't know. Next, I'll be taking the Glam Glow Moisture Trip and moisturizing my face with the Glam Glow Moisture Trip. I am almost empty. Can you guys see? You guys see that? It's, I am almost out of this stuff. This stuff is bomb.com. Bomb.com. Now that my face has its moisture on it, I'm going to go ahead and lock it in with the Max Prep and Prime. This is the Fix Plus. And I'm just going to spray my face down. Guys, that smells so great. So great, darling. So great. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and let this dry on my face. And then we'll go ahead and move on to the next step which is the eyes mm, hi <laughs> so now that that has dried down i'm going in with my urban decay potion primer and i believe this is in the color eden um this is an eye base my packaging is kind of old <laughs> but don't worry darling it still works <laughs> okay so i'm just gonna put that all over my lid area and blend it out Okay, so I'm taking the R33 Morphe brush, and it's just a dome blending brush, and I'm just going to blend all that out. And just bring it up to the brow if you have extra... You can bring it up and you can bring it down and around. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. So now that I have on my eye base, I am going to be taking the palette Zion. And this is by Hip Dot. And, oh, it has a beautiful mirror. <laughs> the colors in this product looks like this. And I think I'll be using, I'm just I'm not winking it. I do have some inspiration for this video, um, but I don't have the exact colors that the girl used. And I will put a link or I will show you guys a picture here of how the 
what my inspiration was for was. So I'm going to take the M503 brush. It's just a fluffy brush and it kind of has a dome shape if you can see. And I'm going to go in with the color Maze. And I'm just going to put that all in my crease area. And oddly, you know, normally I would do my eyebrows first, but I'm going to start with the eyeshadow first and then do my eyebrows and see how that works out. So again, I'm just taking this, just dragging it across, dragging it across circular motions. Pulling it out. Okay guys, so now I'm going in with the color Whisper, and Whisper looks like this dark purple here, and I am taking the M506 brush, which is just a small dome brush, and I'm going to go ahead and put that in the outer corner area. And I'm just dragging that towards the inner corner but stopping halfway of my eyelid like stopping right there Then I'm going to go ahead and take another, that same brush that I used for applying, for applying the transition color, and I'm going to go back in and buff it out. Like so. Okay, now that I have my outer corner on. Now that I have my outer corner color on, I'm going to go ahead and go in back into the palette and I'm going to take Wild River, which is this light purple here, and I'm just going to place that right about here. And then after that, I'll go ahead and add on my lid color and I'll show you guys that as soon as I get to that part. So I'm just taking this angle brush. This is no particular name. Um, this one's from Coastal Scents, super old and... Yeah, it's just an angle brush. So I'm just angling it and flicking it this way. So, like so. This is such a beautiful color. It's ridiculous. Now, don't worry about the color from here to the dark color. I can see that it looks like it's making it ashy looking, like a um, ashy. Anyways, we're going to go back in with that deep purple and, or with the color, we're going to go back in with Whisper and fix that part. So don't worry about it. Just keep applying like so. And if you guys are wondering, um, this palette came from one of the BoxyCharm boxes. So I'm sure many of you have this. So if you did want to follow along, um... You could if you have this palette from BoxyCharm. I forgot which month it came. But yeah. Shout out to BoxyCharm. Okay guys, so now that um, the outer corner areas is done, the transition color is done, I'm going to go ahead and apply my lid color. Now for my lid color, I will be using the Naked Cosmetic palette. And this is a holographic highlighter palette but um i'm going to be using it for my eyes so i'm going to go in with this middle color here it's more of a purple holographic color probably can't see it but yeah 
So I'm just taking the M166 brush, which is just a flat shader brush. It's kind of a big, thick one. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and grab that and apply that to my face like so. Apply it to my eyes like so, okay? And I'm just going to pat that on all over the lid area. Now, if you have hooded eyes like I do, you can't really see the work that has been done on the eyelid because the hood is just hooded, you know. Um, but if you want, you could. You can bring it up higher. If you don't, you can just put on the lid like I'm doing. Um, but to me, this is just fine. So I'm just going back in and patting that down just so the color will stick and pop like so, pop like so. And then kind of brushing out the edges. Okay, so I'm taking that same holographic color, the purple holographic that I placed on the lid, and I'm just going to go drag it down this area here with the same brush. And then I'll be taking the same colors that I put, most of the same colors that I put on top of the lid on the bottom half. So, like so. Which normally I do this step after I put on my concealer and things, which I should have did, but I kind of went out of order, but that's okay. So I'm taking that angle brush again, and I'm going back into the dark purple, which was called Whisper, and I'm just going to drag that along the lower area of my eyelid, like so. And if the color doesn't stay on, um, don't drag it. Just dab it. Or they say tap, tap, tap. I say dab, dab, dab. Dab it. And you can connect the outer area with the top half. Um... So I am grabbing the M158 brush. It just has a spoolie on the end and an angled brush on the other end. And I'm taking this powder. This is by LA Splash. It just looks like this. It's just a brown, nice, loose powder. And this is in the color Espresso. Um, so basically, I'm just going to go ahead and dip in here and apply to my brows like so. My brows are already groomed. So I don't really need much, and I don't really need much for this look. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab my mirror, spoolie these things out, spoolie these things, spoolie my brows out, and begin dipping in the powder and applying like so. So as you can see, it's just a light brown color. And it's just giving me a little more definition to my brow. Oops. Kind of messed up there. Don't worry about it. Everything's fixable. The lady kind of arched my brows super thin. Like, all I did was ask her to clean them up and she, like, erased them. <laughs> now I'm going in with the LA Colors eyeliner. This eyeliner lasts a pretty long time. Um, the only thing I don't like about this liner is that it's a shiny black and it's not a matte black. I wish. They had this at the dollar store in a matte black. That's where I got this. It's from the Dollar Tree store. And it's a shiny black. Um, the tip on this is so 
pointy. It's amazing. It's awesome. So I would recommend this if you want to get a liner to like practice with. But if you don't like the shiny look, then I wouldn't recommend it because this is shiny as I don't know what. But, but I'm going to go ahead and place this liner on my eyelids and then throw on lashes. So let's begin. Okay, guys, so now I have my liner on. It's not the best. I kind of messed up. It, you know, I'm still learning to do makeup. I am not a professional. I'm trying to be a professional, but I'm not professional. Um, it always works out where this eye, my left side of my eye, is always completely different from my right side of the eye. Because it just seems like my hand gets lazy and I can't position it right, but... When I go to the right side, it's perfect. But when I go to the left side with the right hand, it's not perfect. But I'm still working on it. Anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and go in with these fluffy looking wispy. I don't think these are wispy. These lashes here and these lashes are from the dollar store. These lashes are already pre-cut to my length of my eye. I'm going to go ahead and take the House of Lashes glue. You guys can see that the house of lashes glue this is the clear one and I'm just gonna go ahead and put these on and we'll be back While I'm waiting for this other eyelash to dry, I just want to show you guys that these are like the wrong type of eyelashes for a hooded eyelid. Because as you can see with this eyelash, you can no longer see the work that I did on my eye. My eyeshadow is like gone. Like all you see is this big black lash. Um, so for hooded eyelids, I would not recommend this lash unless you're like not wearing any shadow on your eyelid except for like one shadow and you don't really care for others to see the eyeshadow work that you did then i would recommend these but as for just hooded eyelids and you want to see the artwork that you did on your eyelids i wouldn't recommend i wouldn't recommend this one these lashes here but So right now I'm just pinching my lash with the eyelash and I promise that I be thinking that I kind of if you guys can see I kind of messed up I promise you my eyelids are like sisters that are not they're not twins there's no matter of fact they're cousins they're cousins they're not sisters okay so this lash here it came in a little closer this one is a little bit more far out but honey chow, honey chow, honey chow, it all works out. So, um, now let's move on. Okay, so I'm going back into the Hip Dot Zion palette. And I'm grabbing another angle brush. This is a, a small angle brush. This is by Coastal Scents. And I'm going in with the color Sandstone. And I'm just going to apply that underneath my 
eyebrow area to make to actually clean up the mistakes that I made with the brow and just to make it pop more so up there yeah normally I would like like I told you guys I did everything out of order of operation today but normally I would have a concealer underneath the eyebrows so that I could carve them out but since my eyebrows are threaded and done um, I kind of didn't need a need for it so yeah so just get as close as you can to the brow to clean it up well you guys probably won't have to clean it up because you won't be making mistakes like me honey but I made a mistake so I'm trying to get closest to the brow as I can and then kind of fluffing it out with another brush which I just take this flat shade of brush and I'm just gonna kind of buff that out okay guys so now that the eyes are done we're gonna go ahead and move on to the face so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna go ahead and begin with the concealer underneath my eye area so I'm just taking this Lux 246 precision crease brush brush can precision crease brush and it's just a small flat shader looking brush anyways and I'm going in with the pro long wear by Mac and this is in the color in C42 and I'm just gonna pump out a little bit on the back of my hand a very little like a dot like that's way too much this stuff goes a long way very long way so I'm gonna go ahead and grab that and see I kind of messed up once again I'm sorry I'm just letting you guys know in this whole video that I messed up so I'm just gonna go underneath where I did this shadow and do like so this is not how I wanted to place my concealer, but this is what I got to do. Like so. This is going to look so weird, guys. But just trust the process. And I'm going to, since I have so much left, I'm going to go ahead and drag the rest of this on my face. So I'm going to go ahead and place it a little bit on my nose. A little bit down the, the bridge of my nose. And a little bit here. Just three, just three. And I don't want to add any concealer up here because it's already shiny and I'm kind of oily, so I don't want to add any more there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a brush, this brush here, this is the Lux. no, this is the Zoeva. 142 concealer buff, buffer brush and I'm going to go ahead and take my fix plus and spray my br my brush Just one spray and then go ahead and blend out like so And I'm keeping it up. I'm not dragging it down. I'm just going in the upward Motion and don't worry about the harsh line that's underneath the Eyeshadow there because I'm just gonna go back in with the same color and brush and Blend out that area 
Now, if you need to, you can add more. See, I have this dark pocket right there. I will go back in and add a little more. Just so I can get that spot cleared up. And if you need to spray your brush more, then go ahead and spray your brush. But make sure you keep your concealer going upward, like I said. Because um, this will help from it drooping down. I think I applied way too much concealer. If you make a mistake, that's okay. We can go back and fix anything. And I like to um, take my beauty blender and blend all this out as well Whew. Okay guys, so now I am taking the True Match by L'Oreal foundation and this is in the color N6.5 and I am taking the Morphe M6. Yeah, the M6 brush is just a flat brush and I'm just going to use that same hand and pour some on the back of my hand. Ooh, geez Louise, that might be a little too much, a little too much. Um, I don't really use foundation a lot. I don't really care for foundation, um, but it does create a, a flawless look. So, since it's for Valentine's Day, I will be putting on foundation, okay? <laughs> and I'm just going to dab that in my face and then, like, brush it all out. So... You guys know how to do this part. Um, and as you can see, I kind of went over my concealer area. That's fine. I'm going over all of the concealer, the areas that I concealed. Oh, my nose ring. Don't forget to clean off your nose ring when you get done, guys. And I won't be pouring any more foundation onto the back of my hand. This is all that I am going to be using um, because it's more than enough. You don't really need that much foundation. You only really need it in the areas that you need it in. And most of the time, people don't need it on their like foreheads and stuff. So, I'm just going to blend out. And again, I messed up. You're supposed to start like in the center of your face and then blend out. But I just started on my cheek and just blend, blended it that way. But um, the right way to do it, you guys, is to start from the center of your face and then blend outwards. Again, I am in the process of learning how to do my makeup. And yeah gotta get that gotta get that you guys you also want to get your neck area so your neck doesn't look different from your face 
But for the sake of this video, I'm not going to be doing my neck. I'm not going to be doing my neck. But I will be doing my double chin. I will do that. Um, but right for now, for the sake of this video, I won't be doing my... Um, my uh, neck area. Excuse me if I said chin. I mean my, your neck. Don't forget to get your neck. You know what I mean? Get your neck. Okay, guys. So now I am taking this contour stick from wet and wild and this is in the color where's walnut <laughs> how cute anyway so it's a stick and it goes up and down and um this is the color if you can see and i'm just gonna go ahead and place this all around my face i'm not going in any particular direction i'm just going to apply it on so I'm going to go ahead and start with the hollows of my cheek. I'm going to stop right there because I already seen, I'm sorry I didn't show you guys, it was a dark, a darker shadow area there and I just followed that shadow exactly. So if you can see here, let me get a little closer, there's already this shadow here and that's exactly where I'm going to place this contour stick. And I'm stopping right there because that's all I need at this point. And I'm going to go ahead and draw down my, the brick of my nose, the side of my nose, like so. And I will be placing a little here, 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 and here. And then there's this big, huge shadow right here. I'm just going to draw right there and right there. And you can clearly see little shadow there and then I'm also going to go ahead and put a little bit underneath my lip area and blend out so to blend out my face I will be using the real technique real technique brush and this is in the sculpting this is called a sculpting brush and I'm just going to follow where I placed the contour stick and brush upwards and just kind of buff everything out basically nothing major just buffing out And it's kind of connecting this line that I made here with this double chin area that's working my miserable. Oh, I tell y'all, when I get to this left side with this right hand, my hand gets tired and I have to like rest on my um, booby area because... It just gets tired. Like I can handle it over here all day, no problem. But when it comes to this, to the left side of my face, oh, my hand, my arm, it just gives out on me. So just make sure that your face is blended, all the areas of your face is blended. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and finish blending off camera and then I'll come back on and show you guys the next step that I take. So now I am going in with the Ace Butte Bronze Palette, and it looks like this. It just has a whole bunch of bronze colors, and I'm taking this e.l.f. fan brush. It's just a huge fan brush, and I'm just going to go over the areas where I place the contour stick. So I'm going in with this lighter shade here. And I am going to go ahead and apply that right where I said I was. And just kind of buff that out. And 
as you guys can see, I did my nose area off camera. Um, it was really difficult. Um, well, with the brush that I had, I don't have all my brushes in front of me that I would normally have. So, with for my nose area, I just used my fingers to blend it out. Now I'm going in with the Fit Me powder, and this is in the color Coconut. This is number 355 Coconut, and I'm taking another Morphe brush, and this is the number M446. It's just a fluffy dome brush, and I'm just going to go ahead in that powder and just powder all over my face, and yeah. just to give me some color back instead of looking so kind of not my color, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, a lot goes a long way. Um, you're supposed to use like a different color underneath your eye area, um, but for today, I'm just pressing, using pressed powder underneath my eye area and uh, yeah yeah all right so the next the next thing that we're going to do is apply blush let me find a uh, perfect i am uh, taking the r3 morphe brush it's just a dome brush and i am using the anastasia palette and this is a blush trio and this is in peachy love and I'm just going to go ahead and grab all of the colors, just swirl it together, and then apply that on my cheek like so. And I like to bring it up to my temples, up to the temple area. was that left side again guys where I have the hardest time which it makes no sense it's like work hand work work you guys can even see the way that I blend on this side is just a mess does anyone comment down below if any of you have any suggestions on how I can do the left side of my face the same as I do the right side of my face is just like my hand does not want to work I try to use my left hand and you see it ain't working it ain't working but this hand gets so tired with the left anyway yeah good enough Just a little bit down from the sides of my nose and a little on the temple there. Okay, so I'm going to be using the color Stunner. This is in the TARDIS Pro Glow. It is a liquid highlighter. So I'm just going to place a little bit on my finger and dot that on my face and then blend it out. Blend it out somehow. Totally different areas. Dang it. Anyways, so I'm taking the E30 brush by Morphe, and it is just a dome fluffy brush. And I'm gonna go ahead, you know what? I'm gonna blend this out with my finger and then do that. Kind of gonna drag it upwards as well and blend out. Kind of have to 
to move quickly with this stuff or else it will dry. Here's a pro tip, you guys. If any of your liquid liners, or not your liquid liners, if any of your cream liners or your pomade eyebrow products dry out, just add eye drops and it'll bring it back to its life. Pro tip. And if you ain't got the coins, honey, to get a, um, what's, what is it like that, Inglot? Some type of Inglot stuff. Anyways, you can just use eye drops and it should bring back the life of your product. Okay, honey. So, I actually didn't like that highlighter because I didn't use it fast enough. So, I'm going to go grab another one really quick. Hold on. So, I grabbed my Mary Luminizer um, highlighter. It looks like that. And I'm just going to take that same fluffy M, I mean, sorry, E30 brush, and I'm just going to dab in there and place this all on my nose and on my bridge of my nose and go over the areas where I place the liquid highlighter. Let's highlight so. I'm so embarrassed to show you guys how I'm applying on this left side because it just it just seems so weird because it's not going as I would like. Like I need to start doing my makeup more often and yeah, I keep working at it. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this on the top of my cupid's bow area and Chin area. I'm just going to use whatever's left over on my chin area because I don't really like a lot on my chin. But yeah, you can see. Let's go ahead and spray my face down and then I will come back to you guys with the lip look and complete this look out for you guys. Guys, don't forget to have fun with your loved ones. And if you have children, don't forget to buy them a Valentine's Day gift too. Son or daughter. Dads, buy your daughter a Valentine's Day gift so she can know what a real man's supposed to do. Mothers, buy your sons a Valentine's gift just so that he feels loved. Just so that the children feel loved too on this beautiful, loving day. Okay? So nice. I just want to wish you guys all a happy Valentine's Day and 2021. I hope you all have a safe, beautiful, lovable, enjoyable day. And I pray that you get all that you want and need on Valentine's Day. Until then, smooches. I love you guys. See you next video. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Okay? <laughs> nah. Bye, guys.